Hello, my lovely trilobites and fossil fam. I have started talking again, but I got a phone call from the Eye Institute of Chicago and they're like, hey, your discs came in. And I'm like, I want those. Yes, we're gonna schedule that. <laughs> so um, I broke my non-verbalness for eye discs, but I think it's um, it was worth it. And plus it made work very logistically complicated. Maybe over this summer I can do it again when there's, you know, no minions. <laughs> anyway, I I really like trying indie brands and I really like trying small indie brands and I kept seeing this on my Instagram feed and considering how bad my eyesight is, that's saying something. And I wanted to try it, so I ordered it. They're based out of Michigan, so they're not far away from me outside of Chicago, even though my husband is a psychotic Michigan fan. And they have the ingredients right on the box, which is great. And I like the packaging too. And this, of course it's blue. Yeah, <laughs> of course it's blue. But this is a really pretty color story and I wanted to see what I can do with it. One of my, one of the humans I follow on um, YouTube was, um, Telling, she like did a video about her hex values and what like chat GPT said like if she's you know what season she is and I was like I want to do that too so I got my hex values from a selfie and um, like the face hair and eye color I got my hex values from a selfie and I popped it into uh, chat GPT and um, it came back inconclusive it said I I could be an autumn or winter but it didn't ha like I didn't neatly fit into one seasonal category and I was like <clears throat> great so I picked <laughs> I found another selfie did it again got the same result and the hex values were different because it was a different selfie but they were still you know within the same whatever same thing happened. The result was um, inconclusive or you're both like a Schrodinger's cat type situation. And I was like, awesome. I love that for me. So uh, yeah, I am neither and both at the same time. But then I'm like, am I divergent? Like, am I a chat GTP? divergent color story apparently but I'm only two I'm only autumn and winter and I think to be all four you'd have to have maybe like mint green hair and you I mean it's possible from the hex values to get all four but I don't have all four I only have two so that I found very interesting um so I'm wondering if you've tried it or not and what you got I'm autumn and winter so, and then I actually tried it a third time because I'm a scientist and I like data. So it was not actually just a, a twofer, it was a threefer. I did three, after three times with three different sets of hex values, getting the same result. I just kind of gave up and I was like, fine, I'm both, we're good. I concede the argument. But if you ever did it or you wanna watch her video, I'll link it below. And if I don't remind me, cause I'm really bad at forgetting to do that. Ooh, this black is black. We're gonna have like a dramatic smoky eye going on here. So that's what happened with my jet chat GPT um, results. It was not uh, what I anticipated. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna kind of use the other side of this to like blend this out a little bit more. And then, um, let's see, what else? Uh, my Sephora cart has two items in it, so I can't make a whole video on that because I don't see the point. There's like really no point. And um, I did uh, go to Ulta with my friend because I had a bunch of like, I had $125 in like bonus points and I kind of took her on a shopping spree. Maybe I'll do blue on the other eye so we can do like both. I think that'll be good. That way we can see like the whole palette. Um, and I got like three items. So it wasn't 
you know, like a big dramatic shopping trip or anything like that. So my Ulta haul is three items. One of them is really stupid too. I bought like, I guess because it's, you know, it's like reward points. So you're like, oh, I can be a little bit more liberal with it. I got like this dumb star-shaped foundation brush. And it reminded me of Rainbow Bright. It was like a total nostalgia purchase. But I was like, I need to own this. Like, I don't know why I need to own this, but I need to own this. So. I just used the, um, Juvia's Place Eye Primer. And I haven't put, like, powder down or anything. I just put, like, a lippy on. The, um, Mario, uh, lippy, the darker one. So. I'm gonna see, is this, like, I don't know if some of these are shimmers or not, so I'm kind of hesitant. I also don't really wear blue eyeshadow very often, except in, like, when my husband did my makeup. He did Michigan Blue and all sorts of things, so. I do want to deepen this up. I want to see if these layer. I really, really need to, like, um, invest in, like, proper blending brushes. I say that in every video, but here we are. That is light enough for an inner corner highlight, which I am very fond of. Yeah, like doing two looks simultaneously here. It's not an ideal situation, but get it? I? <laughs> yeah, we've been snowed in for like a week. It's still snowing here. Oh, um, NYX Glitter Primer. So have you seen this palette? Like, have you been tempted? It was on sale for 15. I guess it was normally 30 and it went on sale for 15 and I was like, okay, I'll grab it. Because it looked really cute. And I didn't, like, none of the real, like, the new launches have been speaking to me. Like, the Kiss Glam Light one, I was like, mm, just kind of looks like leftover colors from their other, like, collabs. And then, um, I don't know, just none of them were, let's see, I'm going to do, like, the purple shimmer popper over here. And then I'm going to do the blue shimmer top. Ooh, that's pretty. The blue over here. And then I just take like a little extra to like blend it in a little bit. But my Petri dishes are... My husband gets very animated when he plays video games. I'm thinking like a dark black liner for this one and maybe like a dark blue liner for this one. So let me go finish that up and then we can talk about it. So I put the Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade that. One of the three items I picked up at Ulta, I regret nothing. This is gorgeous. And since I'm neither autumn or winter or both, we can do that. One thing I would recommend if you don't have this palette from Natasha Denona, this trio, I would definitely pick this up during the Sephora sale. I use the bleep and bleep out of this palette and I'm going to even use more now. It's just, oh, it's just so gorgeous. And I think it'll work with both eye looks as well. So, um... Let me know which eye look you prefer, if you like the blue or you prefer like the more silver sultry look. Considering this is only eight shades and you can do such different things and I didn't even get into every shade. Like there are shades in here I didn't get into. So um, let me know if you've tried this brand or heard of it and what you think about it. For $15, as long as this doesn't like crease on me, I think we're we're doing really good. So... I'm really excited about that and uh, yeah let me know what you plan on picking up during the Sephora sale 
I'm just looking at like the new Dior blushes. Um, and I already got the Rare Beauty blushes. So when those arrive, I will swatch those for you. Love the, I would definitely recommend this palette. Definitely recommend this palette. So yeah, I didn't even use all the shades, but I really like the two eye looks I came up with. I might want to pop like a little bit more sparkle on here. Just because I did um, different colors in my water lines, obviously. But yeah, let me know which one you prefer and what you plan on picking up. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.